Here's Cunningham. Coming in off 21 points in his last outing. There's the block. The ball's knocked loose. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. Here's Nelson. Blocked. Here's Magruder. Butler covering. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Stewart finds Diallo. Back to Stewart. Over Oladipo. Again, the miss by the Pistons. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Here's Magruder. He's guarded by Oladipo. Pass to Stewart. Here's Cunningham. And the dunk to finish it off. Oh, beauty. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Pass to Cunningham. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. You know, Cade Cunningham has proven he can get it done on offense. Now check this out, back. Grant, the pass to Diallo. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Here's Magruder. Oladipo with a block. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Nothing. Setting the floor for the Heat. Inside, it's Adebayo with Tucker playing the four. Then it's Duncan Robinson. Then there's Victor Oladipo. And it's A-Train in at the point guard. Cunningham's ability to find points really is impressive, Grant. You hope he has as much success in the league as he did in college. And yeah, B.A., with his pure shooting ability, I know he has what it takes. He just needs to put in the work and be ready to adapt to league play. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Hey, Brian. Well, there's an Nelson. annual survey of NBA executives. Going into last season, the Pistons were selected for worst offseason. But with the promise of their young players, guys, some optimism that the rebuild in the Motor City is off to a strong start. Physical, defensive-minded, Allie. That's Detroit basketball, isn't it? That's the shot you hope for. Right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. Fires from the wing. And again, it's Miami converting. I love it. His love for the game couldn't be more obvious. It helps him make a positive impact out on the court. And it also keeps the bench fired up. Now here's Grant. Last game for him, he picked up 13. Diallo outside. Back to Grant. Down to five on the shot clock. The Pistons need to get one up quick. Here's Stewart. Goes back up. And there's a nice layup by Grant. Grant's got his second bucket on the night. And he put on his hard hat on the offensive glass. Jeremy Grant knows where to be in these situations. Here's Nelson. He's got 11. Three-pointer. No luck on that one. And the Pistons going the other way now. Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Bucks at Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee. That kicks off a five-game road trip for the club. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Here's Nelson. The Pistons getting their last shot to go. And there are the Heat with another bucket. A strong start. And if anything, he's gotten better in the second quarter. Detroit calls timeout. This, their first chance to take a look at the Heat this season. Well, they're going to face each other a bunch of times this season. Each team wants to make a powerful first impression. They know each other very well, and they'll be getting to know each other a lot better by season's end. Cunningham's checked in for Joseph. And Miami also making a switch. Butler's checked in. Back to Grant. 
And the layup is good off the glass. Grant's got six points. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. There's a minute 17 left in the second. Here's Nelson. He's got 13. And the three-pointer goes. 16 points for him. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. Here's Cunningham. And he's been a big part of their offense, averaging more than 18 points a game. Can't connect from 13 feet out. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Pass to Adebayo. Outside for Butler. Oladipo against Diallo. Shot from the wing. And it's good. Off the back of the Oladipo. rim and in. Oladipo's got his first points of the game. And taking a look at this first half, they've just shown better shot selection. What they have done is ran their plays all the way through until they get something they like. You'd like to let the clock run and take the final shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, do you take it? Here's Nelson. And so it's Miami. They have a confident 20-point lead right now. Defense is setting the tone. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks. I'm here now with Dwayne Casey. Coach, how do you assess your shot selection and your decision-making offensively? Well, we had some good looks. We just got to make sure we keep our poise and composure and knock them down. We had some good looks. We knew they were going to come out with a lot of juice, a lot of speed, a lot of quickness. We made some mistakes defensively, not matching up quick enough. So, again, we got to keep our composure and stay with our game plan defensively. Good luck. Thank you, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. So it's Miami who's out on top at the half. They are in blowout territory, leading by 20. Kenny, give us your take. Well, it comes down to confidence. From the opening tip, these guys had that swag. They had the attitude that you can't beat us, we could only beat ourselves. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on the point? Just bad interior defense from them throughout the half. They're getting pushed around, not protecting the rim, allowing easy looks. That's the kind of D I I love to face. I've had at least 30 by now, guys. Scoreboard. The second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And there's a 10-second limit on free throw routines, but we see some players ask for time before they get the ball. Grant, do you think that should count as part of their time? Uh, you know, B.A., I don't see why not. I mean, it's about keeping the game moving. So asking the ref to hold the ball longer, uh, not exactly compatible. Isaiah Stewart out there with Jeremy Grant. Then there's Cunningham. Then it's Amadou Diallo. And it's Magruder in at the shooting guard position. That's the group for Dwayne Casey starting the second half. Here's Magruder. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It goes on Victor Oladipo. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. At the line for your captain, Magruder. Rodney Magruder at the line for two. And he makes a first. He's off on the second. You have to be impressed by Bam Adebayo's playmaking. B.A., he has great vision for a big man. Did you see that? Oh, I saw it. Wow. And 
it. He saw it. Adebayo. And right there, I like how Adebayo takes his time, scans the floor, makes the unselfish play. And that replay courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Here's Cunningham. Grant outside. Pass to Cunningham. And it's Isaiah Stewart with a foul. That's his first foul. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. Miami has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Oladipo on the wing. Shot clock at six. Pass to Butler. Ooh, he's locked in. Drains his fifth shot in as many attempts. Wow, the strength of Jimmy Butler fends off defenders well when he goes up to score. Here's Cunningham. Adebayo grabs the board. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. That one drops for him. Jimmy. Butler's got four points this quarter. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Tucker. Gets an open look and he hits it. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Into the third. Two minutes in now. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, Brian. Jeremy Grant, the 39th pick back in 2014, has become a leader for the Pistons. He said, I'm enjoying it. I want to be a lot better, and I want to keep growing. I don't want to be stagnant. I just want to embrace the role and help the team get better from here. Well, he's got all the tools to be a complete player, Allie. No question. Pass to Adebayo. Diallo against Butler. Double team on Butler. Oladipo with the ball. Good! And the assist goes to Adebayo. Oladipo's got his second basket on the night. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. And he drains the turnaround, Jay. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Here's Nelson. 18 points for him. From 17. And that one comes up a bit short. The Pistons have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. And here's Cunningham outside. Miami grabs the miss. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything. They gambled off him, and it worked. Pass to Oladipo. Basket counts. Oladipo's got seven points. The top half of Oladipo is so strong. It allows him to take a hit and score. And the Pistons call time here. Coach definitely wants to talk about their interior defense, which has not been impressive. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. And a new group getting ready for the Pistons. Cut. Substitution on the court. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Nelson sinks Nelson. the tray. 21 points in the game. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him first in this half. Setting the floor for Miami. At the forward slot, Butler and Tucker. Then there's Victor Oladipo. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's A-Train in at the point guard position. Drives to the hoop. Ah! Wow! <laughs> Crazy good! And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. I think everyone in here felt that dunk. No question. That is a four-packed windmill.